at YouTube. We are here in a 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee. What we're working on today is replacing the air cowl. The front windshield here. Um, if yours is bad like ours is, the problem is is that this over time they get old, they lift off the windshield, air gets underneath it when you're going down the road. Ours is around 70, some might experience it sooner. You know, those at a slower speed bars around 70 miles an hour, and this basically just vibrates, causes a god awful buzz noise you hear all inside the car. I mean, it is just irritating as all get out. But that's the symptom. You may have it. Um, the part uh, we got from I don't know, one of the Mopar Mopar online uh, sites is close to four hundred dollars with all the tax and shipping and crap like that. But I'm gonna tell you what's going to be worth it when we're done with it. But anyhow. Uh, here shortly, I'm going to, once I get this air cowl, there's some tabs in the front here that I want to quick figure out before I actually put it on video. I will walk through the entire um, removal and then the reinstall or the installation of the air cowl back on. It's pretty easy. It's pretty easy to do what I've done so far. It's not been anything super difficult, but uh, I'll come back and show you how all that's done. All right, YouTube, we're back here. Just going to kind of go through what all I did to get where I'm at with replacing this air cowl. Uh, the first thing you want to do is remove the wipers. Uh, those are easy to do uh, on the wipers themselves. You've got little, little flip tops here. And there's a little tab on the end. It just kind of notches in here. You just flip it up and exposes the nut that goes on these on the wiper studs. It's a 15 millimeter socket. Uh, I did it with the hood up. It gave me just a little bit more room. I suppose you could do it with the hood down, but whatever. Um, uh, took them off. They weren't on real tight. I think the torque specs on these are like 16 foot pounds. So that's not, it's not, they're not super snug. And uh, maybe you live up north, you got a little rust on them. Might give you a little more of a headache, but uh, down here in South Carolina, uh, not too big of a deal. Uh, anyhow, got those off. When you take the wiper blades off, just kind of use a little bit of a rocking motion, you know, forward, back in this way, uh, uh, you know, front to back, side to side to kind of lift them off. They're a little bit of a spring to them, but uh, as far as how they fold and hold pressure on the windshield, but it's not a big deal. The center one here, I actually had to kind of reach over the, the front, kind of like this, and I actually had to use, uh, this one was a little snugger or a little more difficult to get off than the right-hand side one, driver's side. So the center one here, I actually got, I just put a towel and I kind of just set it over the top of that wiper blade. Then I got some channel locks and just kind of snugged on there and just very gently rocked on that. And then it, it popped off, no problem. So that was the first thing I did, got those out of the way. Uh, the next thing you want to do is on both sides for the air cowl, you have this uh, real flexible uh, weather stripping kind of uh, that snugs in there and it actually fits into the the wheel well and they've got these tabs here the important thing is i didn't learn this till you know after i broke a couple um but the they they fit in tiny little slots let me see if i can point to them. like there's one there's one there's another one down there and these guys right here they're just they just have a little bit of pressure on them so you just can push them back what i'm going to do is I'll put one back in and then I'm going to kind of demonstrate what I did. I used two hands, but you can, you can pull back the weather stripping. I hope that sun's not too bad gang uh, in there. And you can get the screwdriver, a tiny little screwdriver like this, get it down in there and you just get it on the, just inside that tab there and you can push down and I'm not going to be able to demonstrate cause I can't do, um, shoot can't do it with one hand I mean, that's gonna be interesting so anyways uh, I'll, I'll get it off here but basically two hands you get one to pull this back and then you can use the other hand with the screwdriver to, and you want to just kind of just slide there we go slide underneath and then just kind of push down a little bit you don't have to put a lot of pressure on there and it releases that and then you can just basically pull it right off okay you'll do that on both sides you've got you got three tabs here three on the passenger side once you do that uh, you have this big piece of weather stripping here that kind of comes across the uh, in front of the cowling here and you got some little tabs that are part of there's three of them uh, one here one in the center one on the other side that rest down in there 
Um, the weather stripping just has, it just sits down inside there with these little, you know, the infamous little plastic plugs. There's just two of them. I just use the screwdriver again to kind of get down uh, in the hole there and just kind of kind of gently pry it up and it popped off, comes right off. That holds that in. Once that's off, there are six tabs. I think it's six tabs in groups of two, like one, two, might be eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they literally just slide off. Okay, like on this side, I've already got everything removed. So I, you literally could just take this and just kind of pull up and then towards the front of the car. <laughs> there we go. Oh, make sure that's out. And there you go. It'll just pop out and then they, and they'll just kind of work their way over and they'll work their way off. And you'll get that, be able to take that whole thing out. Okay, I do a little bit of finagling here, but you got these little tabs down on the side here on both sides that you gotta want to make sure those are, are pulled out. But um, yeah, when we put it back together again, I'll show you those tabs and how they just kind of slide in. They're just like little um, inverted like this, like, and they just kind of push in, right? And they, they're spring loaded. So as they push in, they kind of put tension on, all right? So that's that. Next thing, come back to you guys. I'm sorry I'm doing this one-handed, but um, I'll show you the air cowl itself. And you have a better idea how this will go back together again. All right, guys, let's go back. Uh, this is the new part here we got from online here. Or online, the Mopar store. Again, I can't remember the exact website, but you can see what I'm getting ready to do. And these are the tabs I was talking about that, um, that push up front they're just kind of like little pancake i'm not even sure what the term is for those things but uh, they just push in they don't they don't latch on anything they just push in and they're pressure uh, with little notches up inside but underneath the windshield area there and that's what um, kind of holds them in place there but anyhow that's what we're gonna we're gonna put back in and it's just gonna be the reverse of the insulation so we're gonna take that air call and we're just gonna kind of we got to kind of jimmy it in there because it won't fit you know, straight in. So we have to kind of shimmy it in and and over and place them. We'll get those eight tabs that are part of the air cowl. We'll get those notched in where they're supposed to be there. Um, get the right, or, you know, the driver's side and the passenger side. Um, weather strip tabs pushed in as well. And then we'll get this weather stripping put back on. Windshield wipers back on, torqued to 16 foot pounds. And this project is done. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you have any comments, any suggestions, you know, that even we can learn from, maybe do better next time, let us know. Um, but again, I hope this helps somebody out. And uh, it's not a patch job. I'm not about patches. Uh, patches are the worst thing for me. Um, they're just a personal <laughs> preference. I like things fixed. Um, patches can be temporary, right? Um, but in the end, we want things fixed right. So anyhow, give us a thumbs up and a like. I appreciate it. Any constructive comments below, please. Uh, you don't like what you're seeing let's go somewhere else all right you guys have a good day bye all right guys so if you watch this long up to this point here you get to see the final product uh, the only issue i had really kind of a little bit of a pet peeve is anyways this little piece of weather stripping right here isn't pulling all the way in the other side and you will notice um, on this side and the passenger side, right underneath here, there is a, mine came with a little red kind of pull away strip because there's, there's some adhesive in here that that will push and kind of hold up against there. But um, I wanted to make sure I pointed out one last thing. When you guys are putting in, when you put the air cowl in here, those tabs actually kind of go down. They kind of, they, they push, they don't slide in, they, they push down in and that's what gives tips attention to the weather stripping here against the windshield so when you're putting it back in you know like i initially did even though i looked at the tabs that was a bonehead um they, they push down in so you just have to kind of kind of you can you can lift the air call up just enough to kind of kind of see underneath where they where they have to go to, to get lined up and you're just going to push them down and you'll hear them kind of snap in place as you put them in there so anyhow uh last little tidbit there uh, again hope hopefully this helped somebody out you guys have a good day.